Well, I think that's the decision. I decided to uh, become an artist when I was 18. Um, I think just due to the car accident that happened when I was 15, I was staying in the ICU for like nine days and forced me to think about the value of my life, how to uh, live without regretting. So then I decided to do art. So when did I uh, you start using uh, already made stuff in my work? Actually, uh, I've been using lots of different like uh, daily life icons for a really long time. Like for example, like such as like 2015, I released my series of work called Made It Bye Bye. Uh, I use in lots of like um, with the American culture like icons such as. Uh, Disney Mickey Mouse, Benny the Pooh, uh, Transformer, Ninja Turtles, um, those kind of like icons with uh, sort of cultural backgrounds behind it. So toys actually um, turn into uh, the, the way, the, the, the themes that I've been applying to play with the contemporary art strategy and also my concept behind it. Words, like you know, why using words, why adapting words, meaning uh, in my Lego series, is because um, I think word it has its uh, the power to deconstruct the Lego philosophy in different ways, in more abstract ways. Words is also like a sign, like a sign. You know, when during the classes, during the education, the teacher will put the sign, such as stop sign or some. Uh, literary sign, education sign, and also in our living time, like for example, like Asian community, they have big signs will say what you've been done for the communities or things like that. So I use in Lego to parcel the words to deconstruct it the way of Lego supposed to be, but it also means like a sign, you know, like sign, like flash to the world, a flash to, to the public to pass the message, to pass the meaning through the words. That's the things I've been doing. I'm not a big fan of Lego. It's just like a, you can build out anything pieces by pieces. And you can make as big as you can, as small as you can, you can build all different kind of things as you can. I think Lego is, is more like creativity, it's like for, for kids or adults to enjoy their life, they could you know, make things in their mind to come true. But I think that's just the way I want to decay the Legos, because I, I think um, our lives is not that easy, you know. It's not as easy as a, as a Lego, it's not as simple as a Lego is. There's lots of drama and things behind it, lots of tragedies, lots of tears and sadness, and that's a real life. That's what I think the real life is. This is my installation work. I use in Lego to pile up like a tower and then cast in wax and melt it like a candle's melted. And then after that, I recast it into cement. You could see the time pass by. You could see the patterns that are going through. You can see the remain of Legos still in there in the architect way, but it's it's kind of like not in there anymore. So that's the things. Not the you know about the things I want to deal with. It. It's it's about the in the human beings issues that we face every day. My studio practice attempts to explore the anxiety and depress behind a spirit that deals with the themes of authorities and deconstruction by using toys as the key point to engage with ceramics, sculpture and array made stuff. <laughs>